uh, i think uh, guys uh, so far uh, i mean uh, we know that uh, we know only few operating systems correct macintosh windows okay uh, and then uh, dos so in the same way uh, like uh, similarly to like dos so dos is for uh, i mean mainly runs for uh, windows applications same way we have the uh, uh, one more os called uh, linux okay so uh, see previously it was uh, like uh, before 10 years like uh, it was called as unix okay so now it has been changed as linux actually linux i mean uh, i mean uh, it is an operating system developed by uh, finnish uh, student uh, linus trovels so they, like uh, these are the, this is a open source okay uh, wherein uh, uh, the libraries uh, the other modules are written in c and uh, it is a uh, open source and uh, even uh, if you are more interested you can also download those source code and you can further uh, develop your own version so like that so far in the past 10 to 15 years okay uh, there are nearly 200 uh, different types of uh, flavors are there okay like uh, the, the debian ubuntu fedora centos and then uh, 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 i mean uh, gnu linux then uh, sisu linux so like that uh, we have uh, nearly uh, 200 uh, linux or uh, flavors are there okay so uh, like uh, uh, i mean even though i mean uh, there are 200 uh, linux are there we, we mainly use uh, centos and then amazon linux and then a fedora okay and uh, uh, like even even then uh, there are the difference are there like i mean uh, for example take for centos uh, in centos um, if you want to install a software you have to use a m module okay whereas in ubuntu if you want to install a software you should use a apt module so like that for in every flavors uh, you have to use uh, appropriate modules to install the softwares. So, but th that is the only uh, one uh, drawback. Or otherwise, uh, uh, I mean, all the Linux are uh, having the. I mean, other functionalities are, are are same. Only the installation modules you should be very uh, careful. That too, we are using in DevOps world. Uh, we are using mainly two types of uh, um, uh, flavors. That is uh, CentOS and uh, Ubuntu. So when you install the softwares in these two uh, flavors, you should be very, very careful. We are using a YUM module, Y-U-M. Okay, Y-U-M module for uh, CentOS and uh, APT module for uh, Ubuntu. Okay, now uh, let us see, like, uh, I mean, uh, we have uh, plenty of uh, OSs, okay. But, uh, I mean, what is the special benefit that uh, Linux is having? See, but the thing is, uh, Linux, it's uh, first of all, it is a open source. Okay, like uh, I can pull the full source code and I can uh, remodify and I can use for me uh, according to my project requirement. Apart from, uh, like, uh, like uh, it is also supporting third party packages. Okay, I mean, it, 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 like if you go for Windows, if you want to use for, uh, I mean, uh, deploy th third party packages, there the installation process will be very, uh, very uh, exhaustive. And uh, it is not that much uh, easy. For whereas for Linux, uh, it is supports a lot of uh, third-party packages and then a variety of uh, wide applications, mainly enterprise-based application. Okay, even in our learning mate, we have the uh, uh, all our uh, 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 enterprise applications being run in uh, Linux uh, flavor only. That is um, Amazon uh, Linux. So like uh, it's very easy to handle. Okay. And if you see, uh, it's a uh, performance-wise, uh, it's very easy. I, I mean, you can find out a difference when you uh, uh, run a software in Windows mode and run a software in uh, Linux mode. You can uh, uh, experience the speedness. Speedness in uh, Windows will be very normal, whereas in Linux it will be very very fast. Okay, and then uh, uh, Linux supports. Uh, uh, I mean, all types of hardware support uh, that Windows is uh, supporting. And then mainly uh, uh, gaming softwares. Okay, so nowadays all the gaming softwares are uh, they are developing either in Ubuntu or uh, CentOS. So like uh, uh, 
uh, i mean uh, uh, you, you can have a, a different type of a graphic uh, re representations using a linux and then mainly security okay uh, see in windows we can able to easily uh, 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 break the uh, wall and we can enter whereas in linux it is not an uh, easy task we have the different type of uh, uh, rules set of rules security compliances uh, normally uh, i mean uh, even we i mean we don't uh, by the special uh, we don't need to uh, spend a special cost for uh, buying the security aspects i mean uh, linux itself is giving free of cost for example certificates uh, using ssl module uh, we can create our own certificates okay uh, like uh, if you are anyone is using your software or sending any uh, request to your environment you can share this certificate and ask him to uh, uh, install any software so in this way like uh, i mean we have a, a high level of frameworks and then uh, uh, there are different types of uh, even the third party uh, security aspects are there which we can easily embed i mean it is very simple so uh, it's only a file that's a configuration file do the i mean uh, uh, fill up the values in configuration file and uh, copy to your system then the system is coming under the uh, coverage okay so uh, when you see the advantage so we have the uh, like uh, uh, the speed is performance wise it's very fast and then very less activity and uh, more uh, security aspects whereas the same if you want to do it in uh, windows windows there are various set of uh, practices we need to follow then only uh, we can come uh, we can bring that uh, environment under the uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, security aspects where, where is it uh, in linux it's very easy to handle okay but at the same time uh, i mean uh, there are um, uh, i mean uh, uh, but uh, the, the, i mean uh, we have the security aspects we have to uh, implement to a certain level but uh, uh, linux is giving um, more uh, privilege and uh, you know more options if we like uh, i mean one level one level of or two level security is enough whereas uh, linux is giving uh, n level so if you apply all those levels okay uh, then uh, there is a chance uh, for our application to go slow go slow so that is why it uh, when when you uh, deploy application or uh, create application which is which will work under linux mode you have to think under i mean uh, uh, the various uh, you know like uh, regarding aspects like uh, firewall uh, how many levels and then uh, what are like uh, we will be using firewall and we will be using certificates so if you uh, like a three level four level five level of a security experts but definitely uh, it will slow down the process your application performance so we, you need to be very very uh, careful while uh, uh, selecting the uh, security uh, uh, levels okay so uh, so far we have seen uh, what is linux and uh, what are the flavors and uh, what are the benefits of linux see nowadays in our, like uh, in our 98 percentage of the applications are running in uh, linux only okay linux and somewhat in macintosh and uh, you know the windows have has totally maybe in another coming years the windows will completely wipe out uh, i mean all the enterprise based applications is being run in linux only mainly centos or uh, ubuntu okay and apart from that when you come to linux world there are three terminologies you, you need to uh, remember one is terminal second is shell third is command line terminal See, like when you uh, say that uh, I mean uh, input and output, okay. For, I mean I will be telling that uh, please check the uh, 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 result in the console output. This means again it is a terminal, okay. Uh, so terminal is nothing but it is the screen where you can uh, handle that uh, your input and output, okay. It's only a window. Second thing is shell, okay. Uh, see uh, shell is an uh, utility okay for example uh, in linux if i want to uh, use the uh, facilities uh, uh, given by uh, linux i mean uh, for that uh, there are certain set of uh, procedures are there you need to write a shell program okay uh, so uh, using that shell program you can uh, avail the benefits given by the uh, kernel which is uh, existing inside the uh, linux I mean, uh, just remember the terminology. In the later section, we will go through the each uh, terminology in depth. So, third one is command line. Okay, like uh, 
uh, you may be, I mean, uh, we, will, we will be telling that uh, please pass the values through command line. Okay, like instead of uh, hard coding in the uh, inside the program, like we will be telling uh, send the value valuable uh, dynamically through command line. Okay, the, I mean, uh, it is the command line prompt uh, or, uh, or the, 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 the place where we run the program. So along with the program name, we will be uh, giving the input or the, uh, the place where we you know, run the program. That is the command line. Okay, so uh, three types of uh, terminology you should remember when you come to the Linux. That is a terminal, shell, and command line. Uh, explanation is given here. Uh, you can go through. Uh, like uh, it's a quite common. Like uh, project team may be saying that uh, please uh, trigger this command in the command line. Then you should be able to understand what command line in the sense is nothing but a prompt. Okay. So in the uh, in the prompt, you can just go and uh, type the command. Shell shell is nothing but it is again a program. You have to write a set of program uh, to achieve the uh, certain task uh, that is to be done through Linux. Terminal is nothing but uh, it is the uh, uh, I mean a screen where you handle the input and output operations. Okay. So uh, and uh, and then uh, so Linux. Okay. Say so Linux is an operating system. Okay. Instead, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, inside we have a certain, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, components. So only if your uh, Linux has these components, okay, then only it is called as uh, Linux. What are those components? I mean, see, mainly, see, Linux. I mean, if you if you study the Linux, no, it takes nearly six months. Uh, each and every concept. For example, uh, bootloader. If you uh, want to study the bootloader concept, it will take uh, two days. OS kernel, again, two days. I mean, you see, I, but don't go into the, uh, I mean, uh, we are not uh, uh, working for embedded programming, OK? I mean, we, 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 we are going to use the, uh, we are, uh, the main objective is uh, you, you need to learn the ad hoc comments, ad hoc comments in uh, Linux, and then uh, you should uh, develop the ability to write a scripting in uh, a shell, shell script. And then, uh, so these are the main uh, things uh, that should be your, your objective, okay? Like if I'm a hardware programmer and I need to deal uh, with the, uh, I, if I need to write a program related to hardware, mainly like chip programming, embedded programming. So for those candidates, uh, you know, definitely they need to know the OS kernel, okay? So I mean, for us, uh, just, uh, uh, I mean, understand this concept as a high level. Don't go into the very depth, okay? So uh, coming to the Linux, uh, we have, uh, uh, first is bootloader, okay? So bo bootloader, uh, this is the responsible for uh, starting, I mean, booting the Linux and making the Linux uh, to make live, okay? So like uh, uh, while uh, starting the Linux and uh, while shutting down the Linux, there are some, uh, some uh, uh, process uh, uh, that takes place in the memory, okay? So I mean, uh, uh, it has to go through those process. If uh, if something happen or corruption happens, no, then uh, Linux uh, will will go into the dead state, and uh, Linux uh, will not be able to uh, uh, start the Linux. So this is very very uh, important point. So like uh, while uh, I mean uh, in, 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 in in Windows, if we are abruptly abruptly closing closing the things, like it will uh, take us to the uh, safe mode, whereas in uh, Linux. A safe mode is there, but uh, it's very, you know, I mean, in, in, even if it is safe mode, uh, you should have a very knowledge to how to handle. Okay, so uh, regarding Linux, while uh, uh, like starting the Linux and shutting down, you should be very, very careful and you have to, uh, pro I mean, uh, follow the proper commands so that, uh, you know, bootloader steps will happen step by step and uh, it will, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, it will make the Linux live. Otherwise, it's a very, very big problem in Linux. Okay. Second thing, OS kernel. Okay. Uh, this operating system kernel. See, uh, kernel is the heart of the uh, Linux. I mean, uh, like how we have uh, in CPU. I mean, a CPU have memory and then uh, various set of uh, facilities. Same way, kernel is having a certain uh, set of facilities more than the Windows. Okay. For example, uh, like uh, uh, if you want to uh, find out the disk space or uh, you, if you want to find out the partition, if you want to attach a file system and if you want to create a drive, everything 
the, the whole set of process or your utility to achieve those tasks, it is residing in the kernel, okay, OS kernel. So uh, to to make use of uh, the, the facilities uh, which the kernel is having, I mean, we cannot uh, blindly uh, use the, the facilities. I mean, uh, the, through command lines, uh, it, it is not possible. For that only, we are having a shell script. So in the shell script, you, you need to write the coding with the appropriate commands uh, to attain to achieve the appropriate functionality so shell script is the uh, is the medium uh, through which it, it connects uh, the os kernel and the our requirement okay so os kernel is very very important uh, like uh, we have uh, uh, i mean shell script i mean i mean uh, for example uh, in uh, there are high level programs okay where we can write in the kernel I mean, we, where we can write in the shell script and we can uh, make use of the kernel, uh, much, I mean, uh, uh, the much advanced facilities. I mean, we, we don't require that much high level knowledge. I mean, we should be able to uh, access the kernel facilities according to our uh, project requirement and it is going to be um, minimal only. I mean, with the normal set of uh, commands, uh, the, according to our project requirement, uh, uh, you write the shell script and uh, shell script in turn will uh, fetch those uh, uh, facilities from kernel and it will present it to you okay so uh, os kernel is very very important second comes the background services okay see background services is uh, nothing but uh, for example uh, no, like uh, os the, uh, os will have its own uh, background services uh, those services should be in running mode always so uh, so that uh, then only uh, the linux operating system will run and uh, uh, it will act as an operating system apart from background services we can also have our own uh, services i mean project services which can uh, uh, make uh, to run in the background all the 24 hours like uh, one of the services is the cron job like a scheduler so like scheduler will be running uh, like a particular uh, time we can take the backups uh, like that uh, services we, services we can a uh, project i mean our project related services we can make to run as a background okay and then again os shell that's what uh, i have told you know like a shell a shell a shell utility it is a uh, uh, utility using which you can write the programs and you can uh, make use of uh, functionalities available in the os kernel and then a graphic server see graphic server mainly i mean uh, we have the uh, I mean, uh, the it is a facility mainly for for gaming purpose. Okay, like or otherwise uh, some uh, GUI. Uh, I mean, we can we can there are libraries are there. Okay, where we can uh, make use of uh, minimal uh, GUI uh, screens for our project. So for that uh, we use uh, graphic server and then we have desktop environment. Same way like uh, uh, Linux is giving a very uh, uh, like uh, how we I mean we have the C prompt DOM, uh, the D prompt in uh, Windows. Okay, command line prompt. In the same way it is giving a desktop environment and then applications uh, linux is supporting the application i mean uh, whatever application i mean uh, uh, we can develop different type of uh, uh, commercial applications using uh, linux okay so uh, as i told you like uh, these parts are very important that is bootloader os kernel background service os shell graphics server desktop environment and the application so these are the uh, uh, seven to eight uh, functionalities where uh, linux is having okay so guys uh, are you able to understand uh, my lecture yes 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 yes, yes. yes. see it, it, it's very simple linux is an open operating system it is written in c Okay, previously it was Unix, now it has, uh, I mean, uh, various uh, vendors in the world, they have taken the open source and uh, they have developed nearly 200 flavors, okay. Even though it is 200 flavors, uh, only two flavors, I mean, every flavor will, will come under uh, two different things. One is Debian and Fedora, okay. Uh, so, uh, like, uh, uh, CentOS is coming under Debian, Ubuntu is coming under Fedora, okay. Uh, so, when you uh, use the uh, mainly deployment, uh, every flavor is having its own module uh, like a centos we use a m module and uh, for ubuntu we have apt apt module if you use apt in centos it will not work same way if you use uh, yum m module in uh, uh, ubuntu it, it will not work okay and uh, apart from uh, generally linux applications is very fast okay 
and the security wise it's very very more powerful than windows but uh, at the same time you see you, you should see that uh, the security level you are putting to your application it should be minimal if you uh, put a uh, more number of uh, 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 security levels then uh, linux will uh, slow down your system okay apart from uh, we have uh, linux mainly uh, i mean there are uh, various uh, uh, components uh, like uh, kernel bootloader shell background services application so uh, the, the uh, if uh, the main the main thing you have to remember is uh, kernel and shell that's all other other things uh, i mean uh, it is not required for us because uh, i mean we will be using linux for our uh, uh, application purpose okay uh, so now coming uh, like uh, we can use uh, uh, using uh, linux we can develop uh, various type of applications like a uh, household uh, uh, i mean uh, all the type of applications right? that application can be a gaming or uh, any type of a business like uh, automotive and then uh, even uh, we can use the uh, network uh, even the, the the network packages which we develop it is again it is developed in uh, linux only and then uh, hardware programs for controlling uh, routers switches okay uh, and then uh, handling the domain servers network devices everything uh, even that uh, we are writing uh, no, i mean in our washing machine uh, we are uh, i mean uh, we are writing embedded programming chip programming again it is being developed in uh, linux os only okay so now uh, totally if i say linux is ruling the world now windows macintosh everything has gone um, back so now uh, linux is uh, ruling the world this is the uh, overall uh, comment i would like to give okay now as i told you next thing uh, shell okay I, I i have told you like a uh, shell is the utility uh, through which uh, you can write your own programs and uh, this shell utility will interact with the os kernel and uh, it will pick up uh, as a, uh, like uh, for example uh, in the hotel how we you know like we we, we, we see the menu and we will order the uh, 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 i mean waiter to bring the things so waiter will go inside and uh, he will uh, he will uh, uh, i mean uh, take the uh, take our order i mean whatever order and he will supply to us same way shell is a program uh, seeing your uh, programming uh, steps or requirement it will interact with the uh, os kernel and it will uh, return back uh, in your i mean the values as per requirement uh, as a uh, result to your program so shell is very very important okay and uh, we have the various steps of a shell okay like uh, for, i mean uh, again it is a, since it is a open source everyone are developing uh, their own shell uh, shell is nothing but it is a place where we write the uh, program okay like uh, we have a bond shell g one i that is a uh, it's a graphic based c shell console uh, g uh, z shell uh, i mean uh, nearly some five to six uh, shells are there but uh, we are we are using only bash shell in devops world we are using only bash shell remember okay uh, other shells i mean we are not using 95 percentage of the uh, companies uh, they are using only the bash shell that is the bond shell that is the first one that is uh, i mean if you uh, uh, the, the the path you should refer is uh, slash bin slash h so uh, you concentrate on the bond shell okay apart from okay uh, going for file system uh, see like uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, in in the linux world everything see even if you device if you attach a device uh, to the uh, linux or linux os the device will also be will considered as a file only okay like uh, uh, i mean we cannot uh, keep all the files different types of files in a single place whereas uh, we have to keep those files in a organized and channelized way so, so linux or the uh, operating system is, all, is also following the same way for example in windows uh, you know we can uh, in, install the software in, in any drive even in a c drive or under the programming uh, files also we can able to uh, install but in uh, linux it is not that picture in linux everything it is is organized you i mean in that folder only you have to do the uh, uh, I mean, uh, the public uh, installations, user um, application related installations. What are those files? So we have the slash bin. So all the basic, like uh, 
as you told me, Linux is maintaining all its operation and uh, hardware devices connected to it as a file only. So uh, it it uh, arranges and uh, I mean uh, how we in, in 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 library we keep the books you know categorized in a shelf manner in the same way. Uh, all the operations and uh, you know, the requirements and of your features that is given by shell, uh, you can find in particular folders. Uh, let us see what are those folders. Like uh, as I told you, like a uh, slash boot. I mean, uh, for uh, Linux operating system to boot, okay, there are some certain uh, uh, bootstrapper uh, files are required. So those files are kept in uh, slash boot. And then uh, device uh, related uh, files, it is kept in a slash dev. And then all the configuration files, it is kept in slash etc. Okay, and all the users, if, uh, if I'm creating a 10 users to access my Linux environment, so those user related uh, uh, login, I mean, credentials uh, related files are kept in uh, slash home, slash lib. Uh, and then uh, uh, generally uh, Linux will not uh, allow you to you know, like uh, you, you cannot able to modify or access that slash bin, which you can just only read only. But if you want to keep your files, okay, even outsiders, the, the, who, for, who we have not given the permission, those files can be kept in a slash temp folder. Okay, and then uh, uh, you have uh, this, uh, I mean, uh, media files can kept in slash media. So you have to remember all these files. Only these files are available in uh, Linux. So like uh, you should be remember, uh, uh, you cannot keep uh, your files. I mean, uh, your, your public files or project related files in uh, as you like, okay. Uh, for example, Ansible. So if you install the Ansible, and by default, after installing, you can file all the Ansible related configurations. You can find it in a slash etc. Okay. Uh, in the same way, like AWS. If you are configuring the AWS through uh, this thing, um, the Linux, again you will file. The, you will find those files in uh, AWS related files in slash US app. So like that, you should uh, the, in Linux. It's very, very important which file I mean uh, which information in which file it is getting stored. That is very very important. Okay, and then uh, so the, the, uh, I will share this document to you. Okay, so I mean uh, I, I mean I have given you very high level. Okay, you just remember those those things. That is enough for you to uh, I mean uh, which can uh, you can start your project in Linux. And uh, now it's a basic commands. Okay. So uh, I will show you, uh, like um, for Linux, mainly use Putty, okay? Putty is a tool, you can download, you can, Putty is a tool uh, where you can work, uh, you can uh, do all the project related uh, works in the um, uh, Linux related uh, activities using Putty. I mean, uh, don't use other, uh, you can, I mean, Visual Studio is there, but sometimes it gives error. So Putty is the best tool and it is a free tool, okay? So now we will uh, try out uh, some commands. So it's uh, since time is getting up, I'm just uh, brushing up uh, very fastly. Okay. So uh, just I'm putting uh, no date date come. Um, it is displaying the date, and then who am I? It is sending. Uh, I mean, uh, so everyone is able to see my screen now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, by, by who am I? Uh, I'm the user. I'm logged in. Logged in through a username called CentOS. Okay, and then uh, now I want to list down all the files. It's very simple. Put uh, ls, so it will. Uh, <coughs> so again, I'm telling you, if you take a command now, so for that command itself, uh, there are a hundred type of usages. You can use that command using a hundred. Like for example, if I uh, see now, it will list the uh, the contents. Okay, so now I I will list in different type, different way. So this will uh, give you more uh, detail. Okay, so if I want to in, inside the in this folder, if you want to see the hidden files, so the, the, the ls hyphen l. So like this, uh, you can list down the uh, I mean command, and then if I want to find out uh, something, okay, if I assume that uh, I'm just uh, I mean Ram. Ram is my friend, okay. Uh, now uh, there is a file. Uh, uh, I mean, you, I mean, we have the file called one.txt. You you want to see the contents? What is what is inside the file? You can use the cat command. So Ram is my friend. Okay. Now uh, now I want to search uh, something. 
in, in this file itself so you, you can use the uh, grep command like i'm using rom okay. rom the, the highlighted rom is there inside the uh, that file so like that we have the various commands okay now you can ask me like which editor you should use to write a shell script the editor is called a vim editor okay so uh, to start the vim, vim editor we should put, uh, type a keyword called vi followed by your file name okay so uh, this is the small program i have written and uh, to save uh, the contents you should use a uh, colon wq exclamation so uh, it will uh, it will store the file if i don't want to store okay uh, you can just uh, type uh, uh, colon once again colon uh, q colon uh, exclamation okay when you when i tell i mean when i tell uh, vi editor okay you should be very very careful uh, actually vi editor is not like a text pad no like a notepad uh, i mean you just open and uh, you, you enter no you, it is not like that we, i mean we, we, have, we have there are uh, certain uh, steps are there i mean how to uh, start the for uh, i mean uh, how to start the uh, how to make the editor in, uh, in a writing mode how to make the editor in a read mode okay and how um, how to save the file or otherwise uh, don't save just uh, uh, quit the quit the, quit from the vi editor so those things uh, the, the commands are available in the in the uh, internet okay uh, first of all uh, i mean uh, to uh, make the editor uh, you should press uh, i mean i have gone inside now now it is blank you should press uh, i so it, it comes insert mode this means uh, you can start writing so you can uh, start writing so once if it is over you want to save press escape so this will go then uh, press uh, enter colon and then wq exclamation so th this will get saved so actually th this is a bit uh, tough for you to uh, remember but any of i mean how to use editor what are the commands i mean uh, it is available uh, ready made available in the uh, internet okay so uh, see but now it is a blank screen okay i want the uh, numbering okay so you can uh, uh, keep a uh, like uh, you colon set number it shows the numbering so it will be very easy to remember the steps but this will go out i mean if i come out the screen again if you go inside it will not show you the numbering so again again you have to put set number so then the number will come if i want to delete a line okay so if you want to delete a, delete a line you should see like uh, there are certain criteria your editor should not be in the insert mode okay you should not be uh, it should it should be in the non insert mode then uh, like i say now the cursor is in the first line so press uh, just uh, press dd the line will go so in the same way there are uh, sh shortcuts using which uh, you can uh, handle the editor to write the shell program so you i mean you should use only vi editor other ed editors are there but I mean, you will. I mean, that is not the, uh, the this VA editor is being used for the past 20 years, and it's very easy. So, using a VA editor, you can write the shell shell programs, and uh, there are various uh, commands are there. So those commands you need to uh, remember, like uh, print working directory. Okay, I can sorry, I can print uh, working directory. It will uh, it will show you the current directory where I am, and then. Uh, and then uh, I mean uh, to create a directory. I want to create a directory yeah, uh, called a sample. So mkdir sample. So I can, I can see uh, cd sample. And then if I want to re remove the directory, that is a, a rmdir. And then uh, to, to create a file, OK, to create a file. But I don't want to put the contents. See, uh, there are two commands uh, to create the file using vi editor. So if you push, uh, put a vi file name, that will get created. Same way. Uh, Alternative use, you have to use a touch touch command, touch file one, file one dot txt. So uh, that file will get get created. You can see uh, the li li listing also. One dot txt. So, uh, you you are like, like like mainly uh, there are various commands are there. Grab command, and then uh, if you want to cut the cut the number of lines in a in a text file, we have the cut filter. Uh, and then if you want to copy the file from one server to another server. 
we have uh, commands like uh, scp r synchronous okay and these are the uh, various commands like these commands you should know for example if you want to replace uh, something okay uh, you, we have a uh, scd uh, this thing i will show you uh, we have the uh, i mean uh, scd command like we have one second i will show you So this SCD is nothing but uh, in the, like uh, in the file input.txt, I'm going to search uh, the, the this this uh, old.txt. If it is there, replace uh, this text with the uh, this thing, this uh, new text. So like that, uh, uh, the small I mean uh, the, the, the commands are there. I mean you need to remember uh, those commands, mainly uh, filtering commands, the displaying commands. Okay, and then uh, date commands. And then uh, we have the, the library functions also, where, uh, that is uh, like how to concat concatenate, how to trim left space and uh, right space, and then how to uh, count the number of uh, strings in a, uh, I mean, uh, number of characters in a string. So all the all those things you should uh, 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 remember. So only those things you will be using the using in the shell script. Okay. So, like, uh, if I want to see my uh, this thing, uh, network status, there are commands related to network also. So, netstat. So, it will display you the uh, all the uh, uh, network services are running. Okay, see, this much services are running. And then, if I want to know the port, currently running port. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, now I want to see the, 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 the services for port number two. I mean, in the port two, what is the services running? So we have again, so uh, TCP services is running and it is the listen mode. So like that, uh, we have the various commands. Okay. Uh, Nitanan, uh, uh, I have yeah. one question. Yeah, it will be. So Nitanan, uh, we just want to know if we have a for 200 or 400 lines of code in a file. Okay. And we need to copy that 400 lines. So how we will do that? Okay, see so again, again in there. I mean, uh, you are uh, you are uh, writing the uh, coding in a VI editor. Okay. Yes. So VI VI editor, uh, you can uh, refer the commands to handle the VI editor. Okay. In the in that uh, there are various commands are there. Like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, like uh, I will I will show you for example. Yes, is better. One second. Okay, see, uh, like uh, I want to go, to go to the third line, third line. Okay, so uh, now the cursor is in the for top, uh, top, top left. Line. Okay, right. now I now I want to go to the, the third line. What you can do? Uh, press uh, press escape. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I want to go to the line number. Press three. Click shift G. See, the, now the cursor is starting in the uh, third line. Right. Like that only. Like that, you have to go through. There are. See, it is not a. I mean, one day, one day, it is. Uh, it, it is not a lesson of one day. Right. It is a lesson, it is a lesson of uh, nearly uh, maybe uh, twenty to forty commands are there. Okay. See, uh, to come to come to come to the third line. First, I am pressing a press escape. Then pr press the line number you want to go, and then uh, press uh, uh, shift G. Whereas I, I I can do the same thing like a press a colon set number. Yeah, but but this is for a particular line, right? Yeah, yeah I mean uh, that's what I'm telling you. This is for okay. a particular line. For, for uh, as I told you, uh, for uh, copy the 400 uh, 400 lines also. I mean mm -hmm. you have to first press the uh, keep the cursor in the first line. Okay. okay. There you press one command. Okay, and okay. then come to the 400 uh, line. Okay. There you there you uh, press again the Y Y. Then the, all the from uh, star from source to destination, all the lines will 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 get copied. Okay, okay. Not fine. I, I, actually, I'm I'm telling you, see, that that's why I'm not going into the very deep. I'm just right, like, right. Uh, I'm just keeping you dot. Okay, if you go and see in the internet in internet yes. VI commands, there, there are nearly some uh, more than fifty commands are there. Okay, okay. Same operation. There are three types of commands are there. Okay, I mean, but it is difficult. I mean, you have to remember. You have to practice. Right. Then only those commands will come. Because I don't right. want to waste my time uh, more in uh, 
taking down is uh, single item very elaborately i want to be i mean uh, okay no issue no issue, no issue okay. see okay Thank now now i'm going to a shell script i'm uh, just uh, running one uh, see we, we, uh, i'm going to run one shell script i will show you uh, 3.sh first i'm going in insert mode okay now i'm copying right click see uh, every shell script will uh, will starts from the uh, hash exclamation so this is nothing but that hash exclamation is called as a she bank s h e she bank it is the uh, terminology used okay every shell script should start like this only so echo i am just uh, printing the uh, this uh, hello world again uh, w q colon this is the way to uh, run a shell script everyone will will run the shell script like this like dot slash and then uh, shell script don't use that i mean uh, you uh, sometimes the permission uh, issues are there instead what you do you you uh, in, when if you want to run the shell script start with sh sh for dot sh hello world this is the way to write a shell script and uh, display the results okay so now let me uh, so now, now i'm using i mean uh, as i told you no shell script it's very easy the only thing you have to remember the commands grep command uh, tr filter and then a scd 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 command to replace so you you learn some 10 to 15 commands okay so uh, the, the you are going to use only those uh, 14 to 15 15 commands but uh, like uh, uh, i mean uh, like uh, some uh, how can i say like um, like some magics like uh, how the magician has some magics uh, having some tools no so those magics you can uh, use the uh, your statements like a while while statement if statement that is a decision making statements so these decision making statements will help you uh, in uh, handling uh, those uh, 10 to 15, 15 commands so if you are expert uh, if you have become expert no that is the shell program this means uh, you can tell that i can write a shell a shell programming like uh, i will show you it's very simple see uh, this program this program see this like i mean uh, in other languages we have uh, i mean if statement while statement and then do while statement for statement okay only the, i mean whatever the st uh, statements uh, that is branching decision making statements available in java or c c++ plus, plus same i mean uh, same statements only here okay see uh, see now here i'm just uh, uh, i mean uh, what is a pro program how you write the program see program first uh, first you should uh, i mean uh, you, you will be ha having some logics correct so those logics it will come in the center for that logic you will be handling some uh, variables so those variables will come in the uh, first portion and then the uh, result portion will be in the last so this is the program that is variable declaration in the first part and then uh, logics or whatever uh, the, the 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 core uh, functionality it will come in the middle and the result it will come in the end so th this is the way i mean generally we we used to write the program See now, we're, now I want to uh, uh, print the number which is greater than ten. Okay, so uh, so now I have given uh, now I have given uh, declared one variable and uh, keep the value as nine. Okay, and then so uh, just see the variable n. So in variable n, while I am calling that in the if statement, okay, you should use the word dollar. The, before that i will show you one thing see now i am declare the variable n equal to 5 okay now now i want to uh, print that uh, value for, you should use a echo so variable should be accompanied by dollar symbol dollar n okay so uh, f is getting printed in the same way in the pro pro program also i am just uh, comparing like uh, lt is nothing but uh, lesser than greater than means gt i mean the the, the commands are um, similarly like uh, the, the you know i mean the common words which we use uh, on daily practice less than less than means lt greater than gt uh, and then greater than or equal to for this you have to use uh, hyphen g g e so uh, it's, uh, it is, uh, we are we are comparing the value 9 whether it is uh, lesser than 10 so if it is there 
it will it will print uh, uh, yes i mean uh, it is uh, like uh, you can say it is smaller digit or it is a greater uh, greater digit okay. so i will let us uh, write uh, compile this program sh four dot sh so like it is a smaller digit number i have entered the input variable as 9 and, and i am try to compare with it 10 so uh, based upon uh, if it is success i am printing the uh, one message if it is not meeting and it is a fail yeah, i am just uh, printing uh, another another method so th this is the shell script so like uh, again uh, if I, I have written these statements okay for this uh, the the echo all these commands are in kernel okay so uh, the shell utility takes this program and come uh, uh, executes in the kernel workspace and then it is uh, uh, displaying the result to us so the, the, this is the way we write the shell script and we will let us see uh, other shell scripts also Nitanan, i have one question yeah please yeah so uh, is there uh, like anything a difference between bash scripting and shell scripting because in this script we saw like particular interpreter that bash we are using wait 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 you should uh, you should tell i am writing a code using bash shell script okay what my point yeah in so, devops uh, in devops uh, world you should not get confused like uh, 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 like uh, i am use i am writing the code uh, using a bash shell script you should say like this okay okay yeah. Got my point. I mean, uh, I'm using, uh, I'm writing uh, using bash script. I'm using shell script. Uh, that's wrong. I should, you, the correct ter terminology is bash shell scripting. Uh, you do you have knowledge in writing bash shell scripting? Okay. So that is the, uh, I mean, uh, that, that is the more widely used. Okay. See, but it is very uh, simple. I mean, uh, uh, like uh, to execute the to, to execute the uh, scripting kernel is using uh, slash bin slash sh folder so that is why it is called as uh, bash scripting if i use uh, some other folder like uh, slash uh, bin slash ksh okay then it is called uh, con shell k o r n if i use uh, slash bin slash csh then that is called uh, c o r n shell i mean uh, everything is the same but uh, it is the market uh, the trending okay Oh, so okay, uh, okay um, but the widely used is bash shell scripting same uh, and then again uh, uh, i will show you the this thing uh, another uh, shell scripting using a switch case okay. see, um, ma mainly you use a do while far if uh, and then a switch case switch case is nothing but um, I will, uh, let me execute this program like it, it, it's very simple same I'm I'm accepting a number. The, this is the way. Like I'm accepting a number from the user. Uh, the statement is you use use a read. I mean it is reading the value entered by the end user, and then uh, the, I'm storing that value in the uh, variable n, and then uh, in that variable I'm just comparing. If the value of the variable is one zero one, if the user has entered one zero one, then I will display uh, display this statement okay if the value like in single statement itself like instead of using a if else if else if else i can uh, handle uh, that part using uh, this command i mean uh, case command okay case and a uh, uh, end case if the value is 101 i will execute this one if the, if the value is supposed for 510 i will execute this one. if the value is triple uh, uh, nine i will execute if the value I entered, it is not coming in this value, 101, 510, or 999, then I will say sorry. Uh, 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 the value, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't have the logic for the number or value you, you, you entered. So this, um, I will generically, I will uh, print this message. I will execute this command to you. Okay. One second. SH5SH. So I'm entering 101 it is printing you are you got first price so i am uh, printing some other number uh, seven which is not in the list sorry try for next time this is the shell script okay see okay, okay this is the shell script so i i have, I have used a case statement okay instead uh, i i mean uh, i've used a echo command to print so like this there are some uh, only 10 to 15 commands 
ad hoc commands. So how to manipulate those ad hoc commands? For that, you should use branching statement and conditional statements. If you are a master in handling both the part, that is what the shell script. Times. Okay. Uh, so I mean, if, uh, generally, you, see, you should write a shell, shell script very simple. Okay. If you uh, write some uh, complicated, then uh, it will be. Uh, like you should write a shell script in such a way, even the juniors, juniors should also be able to uh, debug, understand, generally, like generally, I mean, people are programmers, will have their own mentality. If I write a program, uh, my juniors should not understand. Okay, that should not be, that, that, that is wrong totally. Uh, when you write a program, it should be very simple. Even a one-year uh, experienced guy should be able to understand and he should be able to carry out, carry out if any modification required you should be able to do so uh, use simple commands simple logics and uh, put the logic very simple okay and then uh, okay uh, so, uh, now i'm going to uh, once again i'm uh, now one more command is there see uh, like uh, i can put uh, two commands in using a single uh, statement itself how like say oh, I want to print out a uh, cat on text it will it will print okay and then I went to print out uh, some uh, files so uh, two commands I'm doing it in uh, two steps so those two st two steps I can do it in a single uh, steps also that is cat dot one dot txt put for the first command and then you have to put a delimiter delimiter symbol okay that is the uh, pipe pipe symbol uh, connecting uh, connecting the two commands and 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 then uh, put a second command so your uh, two operations i have done in a single statement so like this pipe symbol and all uh, you will be using in a shell scripting okay like uh, instead of writing uh, four lines in a single line itself uh, you can uh, uh, i mean able to achieve or otherwise you know like uh, for example uh, I am uh, executing first command. Okay, that will that will uh, uh, revert me certain uh, results. So using result, uh, like uh, this will be uh, this will be my my input. Okay, and I will pass the, this as a uh, input to the uh, next command. So for in in that uh, scenario also you can use uh, uh, pipe symbol. For example, I am displaying the uh, uh, contents of a file. I want to so contents of the file it will display. Second step, I want to know the number of lines. Okay, so instead of uh, 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 using the same command, using pipe symbol, we can use uh, two operations in a single statement. First, I am displaying the contents, and then followed by pipe. And uh, now I am uh, so the cat command will uh, give me some display in some number of lines. So now I want to count the count uh, that number of lines. That is WCL minus L. So uh, it has written one. Say cat dot one one dot txt. There is only one line. So like this uh, pipes uh, like uh, this type of uh, techniques. Okay, definitely you will uh, use in the programming. So like a pipe symbol and then branching statements. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, the the other commands. Some the ten to fifteen commands are there. So if you have knowledge all these things, now you can uh, able to write a very clear uh, shell programming. Okay. So this is the shell programming. And uh, okay, uh, so so far uh, we have seen uh, what is the Linux, and then Linux basics, and then Linux basics commands, and then we have uh, seen uh, shell scripting, and uh, we have we seen uh, VI editor. Uh, all the shell scripts should be written in the VI editor. Now we can uh, like uh, file permissions. See, uh, I think are you able to? Uh, everyone are able to see my screen? See, like uh, we have the uh, permissions like this, like. Uh, Either I can give a, a, a read a permission to a user, or otherwise I can give write permission, or other I, I I can give ex execute permission. Okay, so read write execute that is R W X, or otherwise I can give in combination like this R W or W X. Uh, generally, uh, I mean if you see one one listing, no, see if you see. Uh, in the, I mean, uh, all the file. Okay, you you can you, you will find find some uh, uh, combinations like iPhone uh, R, R W, iPhone R, iPhone iPhone R. So what is this? 
this is nothing but uh, again same th i mean read write r stands for r uh, read w stands for write read write okay so uh, like uh, all the uh, file permission is handled in this way rwx okay now again we have a separate thing like um, for example uh, uh, like uh, there are bunch of, i'm having my file somebody wants to access um, uh, my, my file some five users okay or uh, uh, or some groups okay whereas i am the owner so here a three section is coming owner uh, group user as a owner i can give permission to, uh, file permission either to a group or either to a user okay oh, nirjan and i will drop off as i have another call sure you sure please, yeah yeah, yeah please, please please yeah thank yeah. you yeah yeah like uh, uh, for, for example if you want to uh, give a uh, permission to a five users instead what you can do you give a permission to the group and attach uh, that uh, user uh, to the to that group okay so like uh, file permission uh, that itself uh, it will take uh, one day so again we have uh, uh, i'm just uh, telling you very high level uh, rwx okay like uh, as i told you uh, like uh, there are 1 to 10 positions positions are there see left side 1 2 3 up to 10 position is there so in that first position uh, denotes whether uh, this is a file or folder okay and then the next position next uh, 2 to 4 it is for user position and uh, next for 5 to 7 it is for group and uh, next for 8 to 10 that is other than user and group like if it is a third a third person i can uh, give the permission uh, to him so that that is why I, you can see that the left hand side iphone rw hyphen rw then iphone iphone rw okay so uh, this will have nearly uh, 1 to 10 position so 1 to 10 position uh, you, i mean uh, i have given you the uh, material which i will share you after this you can you can find out so first position for what 2 to 4 position 2 to 4 for which uh, uh, entity for uh, 5 to 7 for which entity 8 to 10 for which entity so this is very very important okay sometime uh, you can able to access the read only file okay so uh, even a read only file you can uh, make it as a uh, write you can uh, and you can uh, also uh, have the ex execute permission so all that file manipulation is being done uh, uh, this thing only i mean rwx for, for that uh, we use the command called a ch mode change mode okay so using that uh, for example if i uh, one more thing say rwx we have using alphabets using uh, uh, numbering also we can able to uh, uh, manipulate the file per permission that is what uh, i mean we have the uh, 0 1 2 7 okay uh, we have the combination uh, like if it is a triple seven triple seven means uh, i mean uh, seven seven denotes for r read write execute so like uh, again uh, we, we have a uh, uh, like uh, no like uh, 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 i mean uh, giving permission to both uh, 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 group uh, user and others so for that we have the position 77 765 764654 assume that if i want to give this uh, permission to 5.sh for that we have to give ch mode plus 775.sh this means uh, the, uh, the the user centos or uh, the particular user he can able to you open the file and he can do the modifications so like this uh, you know by file permission is being uh, handled uh, using ch mode okay and we, in this also we have like a ch mode ch group okay uh, i mean uh, the file permission the topic on file permission itself it's a one day lesson so in the uh, you have the very good lessons in internet and uh, youtubes uh, now coming to uh, AWK. See, AWK is very, very important. Okay. So again, uh, AWK, actually, it is a set of, uh, 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 I mean, uh, as I told you, you know, like uh, uh, multiple uh, statements in the, uh, we, we can uh, make it, we can use it in a single statement using pipe symbol. In the same way, uh, Hawk is a programming method. Okay. It is uh, created, uh, once again, who has written the uh, okay it, it has been developed by a three person aho went went berger and uh, kenhan so these are the 
uh, author who has developed the AWK pattern. Like in shell script, you, you might have find out uh, certain statements uh, starting with AWK. Okay. So uh, it, it's it, it's very simple. I mean, uh, even uh, even though the, the the command looks very tough. I mean, uh, like for example, uh, for your uh, based upon your requirement, you can search in the Google and uh, and you can uh, use uh, this thing. I mean, this AWK pattern. So like uh, I mean, uh, now you see employee dot uh, mainly it is uh, used for file handling. Okay. For example, I will create a file. One second. I will create a file and I will uh, insert some values. So these values. Okay. So so now we have first column, second column, third column, fourth column. Okay. That, that is the one. If we see, if we uh, like a normal using ad hoc commands, Unix ad hoc commands, if I want to display the first line, then you, you need to go five to six lines of programming. Those five to six lines of programming we can uh, minimize using one single uh, AWK command. Okay, so now I'm uh, just uh, printing the first column. It's very simple. See, you don't no need to worry. Everything is available in the internet. Okay, the only thing uh, you should be able how to use that statement according to your requirement. Okay, so now uh, I'm just uh, copying and pasting here. If you see, you no, know, see first command. I mean. Uh, AWK up to up to this up to this is the AWK command and from which file I want to print the first column so that I am giving I'm just entering so it is it is printing me the first column okay and then uh, once again like you see if now now I want to listing out the contents of the directory LSL so again, again, you see uh, this much information is there. I don't want uh, this much information. I want only uh, first column. Okay. So how can I print that uh, first column? If you want to write the shell script uh, again, uh, you have to write some 10 to 15, 15 lines. So that I can uh, minimize in a only in a single statement. So LS, this will report some, uh, this will revert some uh, results. So using pipe symbol. Okay. I need only first column. Okay, for that I'm using a uh, uh, command. See, I'm showing you that. Uh, I mean, uh, it seems a third column. Okay, such a way, like uh, uh, I mean, uh, instead of writing a hundred or I mean, at, uh, multiple lines, find the normal programming. Those things I can uh, use it I mean, minimize using a uh, command. So now you say I'm using a host name. Okay. Just printing host name. So this is the IP. Okay. So uh, I uh, I want to print uh, some first uh, number. One second. So uh, mainly our command is used. I mean. Uh, the first command may return some outputs, some bulk of outputs. So using that bulk of outputs, you can do something. And you can write normal shell programming in multiple lines. So uh, instead of writing multiple lines, we can uh, uh, do the operation in a single line. For that only we are using uh, arc, okay. Uh, I mean, now example is it. Uh, now, now my, uh, I will show you one uh, example. So I'm, I'm opening one file, okay. And my first line, I'm typing my first line, then the space is there. Again, I'm printing a second line. And then I'm printing third line. Okay. Now, I want to arrest uh, the space between first line and second line. And then uh, second line and third line. And I want to spool it to a, uh, uh, some uh, different file. Okay. How, how could this can be done? So, uh, like, uh, okay. So I will display, first of all, uh, I need to display the content. For that, I will use the cat 3.txt, OK? So it will display. Say, so how, how is the display? So now I, I'm going to use a command to replace the all the spaces wherever uh, the file contain uh, spaces, blank line. So those blank lines, I want to remove. And uh, whatever the end result, I want to move it to another file. 
so that thing i can do so this much if i write in it will take some 100 lines of coding that i can do it in a very single single uh, line how say first display the, i mean first display the content of the file and then i'm just writing the arc command to uh, to delete the blank lines okay so once again to remove the blank line split down the word once again this example will test try Okay, uh, I mean, uh, see, there are various commands, how commands for various uh, functionalities. Okay, uh, see, here I, here I have typed, I like programming. Okay, I want to uh, cut the third line. I like programming. I want to cut the third word. See how, how, how I did. AWK print three. So it will, uh, it will print the, it will uh, cut the third line written by the first command and it will display. So like this, you know, like in programming, uh, uh, you need to, look for, uh, I mean, uh, uh, like uh, in this way, only these things you will be using in the uh, uh, shell scripting. So like, uh, like uh, I will tell you, like, for example, I, I will assign this to a variable, f equal to uh, dollar. Okay, I'm just uh, pasting this thing. Dollar printing. Here, colon. Okay. So now I am printing that variable. Dollar f. See, I have printed. In this way, you you can use the arc programming. So, are you able to see the how I written the program? Uh, whatever the commands I have just uh, written to a variable and in that uh, variable I have just uh, printed out so like this way uh, you can also use uh, arc, prog arc programming uh, in your uh, in your uh, shell script okay so uh, like uh, this is the uh, ending part so uh, as I told you like uh, we have seen uh, what is uh, Linux what are the Linux components and what are the Linux uh, flavors what are the Linux benefits? And then we have seen some uh, Linux uh, uh, ad hoc commands. Okay. And then we have seen VI editor. So using VI editor, uh, we can use the write the shell script. And how to handle the VI editor? Uh, I, I have told you certain commands are there. And then uh, shell scripting. How to write a shell scripting? And then uh, in shell scripting, uh, we have to use, I mean, uh, certain branching statements. I, I, I've showed you switch case, if else. Okay. And then uh, I have uh, shown you file permission, and uh, and then uh, how to give permissions to the owner level, uh, group level, user level, and other level. Okay. And then uh, uh, I told you uh, how to handle uh, uh, hawk programming. So only these things. I mean, uh, whatever the content I told you, the uh, seven to eight points. So th this is the uh, total overall uh, Linux. If you, I mean, uh, if you are drill down uh, everything, no, uh, in depth. It will go at least uh, four months. Okay. File permission itself, it will take uh, for you to practice, it will take uh, one month. So, uh, this is the basics uh, Linux. Okay. Apart from that, uh, we have uh, advanced uh, Linux also. Advanced Linux in the sense, uh, uh, I mean, uh, server level. We have we have some uh, eight to nine topics which is uh, deal with the server level. That is very, very advanced. Uh, I mean, for that we have uh, different different uh, set of uh, commands, different set of uh, approaches. So that is, I mean, uh, that is for mainly uh, the server administrator. For example, uh, if I want to uh, launch a DNS DNS server, launch a DNS server, and uh, float it to the market, so that uh, everyone uh, like uh, mainly that uh, GoDaddy.com, okay. So uh, people can come to me and they can uh, register their domain uh, with me. So. The, this is one of the activity. This itself is a very, very big uh, task. I mean, uh, uh, 
like uh, it involves more number of uh, uh, operations installations so like this so we have some uh, 9 to 10 uh, topics that deal with the server level okay but everything now that has been gone okay now uh, everything has been uh, uh, done through ansible so we have a ansible uh, where for example uh, if you want to uh, monitor a uh, server or do some uh, activity using router using a router or modem everything is done through ansible okay now i mean gone are the those, those days where we have a we had a data center and we have a server okay there will be a sysops guy or administrator guy, database administrator where he will do manually uh, he will uh, if any trouble comes he will do the troubleshooting now everything has gone now everything has to be done through programming okay so uh, for that uh, we have a shell i mean uh, we, have, we use a shell scripting we use uh, ansible okay uh, and then uh, linux mainly everything is linux now it has been, uh, devops world is fully linux that can be either centos or ubuntu so uh, if you don't have the knowledge i mean if you don't have the interest for uh, scripting then i will say uh, you can switch over to some other career okay if you uh, uh, for to 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 retain or to to i mean uh, to to have a career as a devops through for uh, throughout for lifetime okay you should have uh, uh, interest for scripting so now the world is uh, totally uh, totally as uh, switched over to scripting no manual work everything has to be done through scripting and that too i mean you have to uh, learn uh, uh, knowledge develop knowledge in multiple scripting like in devops itself we have a groovy scripting to handle the jenkins task we have a shell scripting uh, to handle uh, the activities that is related related to linux okay and we have ansible scripting ansible for example if you if i have a thousand number of servers okay uh, in those that gone are those days five or ten years back uh, the desktop desktop engineer will go to the each laptop or each desktop he will be uh doing uh, installations so th gone are the th those days i mean in my system i will uh, i will have those softwares i will write the ansible program which will do simultaneous installation in a thousand servers at a time okay. this is done through ansible scripting okay uh and then uh, in in the same way like uh, we have aws platform okay uh we have the various uh, resources in aws so to provision those resource or to dismantle those resource again we, we were doing a manual some two years three years back again that manual has been stopped now every company is uh, insisting to do the all the task through uh, scripting only so for that uh, we have uh, uh, three types of uh, scripting are there one is cloud formation and another is uh, terraform and uh, third one is uh, powershell so again uh, you need to do the scripting so without uh, scripting there is no uh, manual i mean there is uh, there is no room for the manual work so unless until you don't have experience i mean experience or knowledge or interest in scripting then it will be a very uh, nightmare for you to stay in devops devops is not a infra in infra world devops involves 90% is development and 10% is support work. Okay. So in that uh, shell scripting uh, is a middle layer. Okay. Using uh, I mean, uh, in the shell scripting, you can call Ansible scripting. You can call Terraform scripting. You can call uh, Node.js. You can call Groovy script. So that is why shell scripting is very, very, very important. And you should know the uh, in and out of uh, Linux. I mean, uh, don't go into the uh, uh, kernel level. I mean, just uh, learn some 22, 30 commands, ad hoc commands. And then I, as I told you, AWK command, I mean, AWK command seems to be very tough. But uh, I mean, you don't uh, uh, think upon uh, the commands given. I mean, uh, first of all, I like uh, put in the, like, I want to remove the blank lines in a, in a file using AWK command. They, uh, ready madely awk command will give the uh, the desk uh, i mean awk uh, uh, i mean uh, the browser will give the command you just uh, apply that in the program okay so that uh, you can minimize your uh, steps in your program okay and then uh, you should uh, know how to uh, various level of permissions 
okay and then a various uh, number of various uh, types of uh, files like uh, you cannot keep your files as uh, as it uh, as you like so there are procedures are there okay i mean all of, all your uh, uh, configuration files you have to keep it in uh, etc and all the user related uh, in installation files you have to keep it in uh, slash usr so like that uh, you uh, i mean there are nearly some 20 to 30 file systems are there no need to worry you i mean you just learn some uh, 7 to 8 that will be uh, that you will meet every day okay so uh, and then uh, try to develop uh, extensive knowledge in writing shell script that's very 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 important unless until you don't know how to write a shell script then uh, i cannot call you that uh, you have a very good knowledge in uh, linux okay linux means shell scripting in shell, shell scripting try to use uh, hawk programming so using hawk programming you can minimize the coding coding level and uh, it will be a very good good standard so like uh, how you can judge uh, that you are a very good good shell programmer if your uh, programming is containing uh, statements using hawk this means uh, i know that uh, this guy is very i mean uh, he's a very uh, good uh, unix programmer or a linux programmer okay so like uh, whatever the areas i have covered that is the overall total linux so now this is only dot for you so now you have to drill and uh, material material as the material are there extensive material are the very fine material okay we have youtubes and uh, i mean uh, you can uh, uh, like uh, uh, even uh, this thing uh, uh, classes i mean uh, nowadays uh, linux, linux is supporting classes also how we have uh, polymorphism uh, oops concept so that those whoops concept also is there in uh, using uh, linux scripting so that is uh, some advanced level that you can uh, verify in the uh, i'm just telling you dot even unix program you can uh, use it as a uh, you can insert your whoops concept also okay i mean you have the material you have the uh, 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 lectures on the internet arena you can use okay so if anyone has the doubt please uh, you can ping me Hello. If anyone yeah. is having, if anyone, Hello? Is, yeah, if anyone is having a doubt, you can ping me. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, what is the difference between touch command and a cat command? So I didn't understand the difference. See, okay, I will show you. Now I'm creating a file. Touch. Uh, 9.txt okay so touch now the file has been created if i i now i want to be see the contents contents of the the file for that the cat 9.txt thing is there this means i have created the file but i have not created the content that is the usage of touch command touch command will create a file but uh, it will not create the file with the contents so now i have created the dummy file so now i want to insert some uh, uh, statements inside the uh, that uh, text file for that you have to go to vi 9.txt you put some so now i have inserted now i am saving the file colon wq exclamation so now, now your file is saved now i want to see the contents of the file so for see the contents you have to type cat followed by file name so this is uh, displaying the uh, file content what the point yes yes are you clear yes yes oh hi nitian sunil this yeah, side yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so i have one query do we have any provision to debug the uh, code uh, under uh, shell script yeah yeah i mean uh, we have the code I, I will tell you see now uh, oh, i'm uh, uh, assume that i'm just writing on a shell script okay vi 9.txt oh so now i want to debug the uh, these three lines assume that uh, these are three some commands okay mm -hmm. now i want to uh, i want to print my command as well as a result in the console for that, uh, I need to use set, set plus x, small x. So you have to start your coding like this. And uh, like uh, there are also some other commands are there. But I don't want to debug. So I want up to here. Okay. And then now I can, uh, I have started my debug window here. Now I'm closing. 
So closing is done. Set minus x. So plus x stand for execution part, right? Pardon? Oh, plus x. So we are using for execution, right? No, no. Plus x is nothing but uh, I'm just opening my debug window. Okay. Debug, debug window, and I'm closing here. This, I mean, yeah, man, I'm just telling you as a dot. Uh, uh, you can find out in uh, internet. Okay. I mean, you, you can practice. Okay. Can you, show, can you show us how it will work after debug mode? Uh, this is, I mean, this, this uh, like uh, I don't have uh, because I'm having another call. I need to because uh, now it's going to be 1:30. I mean, uh, you just uh, try it in the internet. Okay. If you don't uh, find difficult, you can ping me later separately. I can teach you. Okay. Sure. Okay. No issue. Because I don't have time. Uh, the session was at 12 to 12:45, but it has gone 1:30. So I'm just uh, telling you. Uh, uh, there are examples are there. You can find out. Uh, set plus x and set minus x. Okay. Oh, got it. Got it. I'll check over there. You you check if you have any doubt. Please speak me separately. Okay. 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 So so others do you have any any doubt? No, Nitinan. I'm clear clear with it. Yeah. Uh, please, if anyone having doubt, okay, uh, you can uh, ping it to me. I'm always there to help you. Okay. It's very simple. See, writing shell script is very, very simple. As I told you, you have to remember some 10 to 15 commands. Practice those commands. Okay. And then uh, you have to experiment like uh, four commands. How can I use four commands in a single line? Okay. And then uh, that four commands in a single line will uh, return some value. How can I catch uh, that value in a single variable? And using that variable, using if statement, how we can uh, do the further operation using that variable and then uh, uh, certain activities how i how i can uh, able to do using uh, awk programming okay so uh, unless until you practice this session it will be very it will be very 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 difficult okay uh, as a last i will show my one uh, shell script which i have written uh, okay so this is the way you need to write the shell script I see this is the way I would have written the function okay so the at the outset if you see it will be very I mean you will it will frighten you but it's very simple see I have used the same multiple command using AWK programming so in this way you should write the it's it's very simple say for example I want to remove the blank lines from from here uh, uh, text file you just uh, awk command to remove the blank lines in a text file awk command will uh, i mean the browser will return one command the, that command uh, you use it here okay i mean uh, for you i mean for, for you the, the command may be seems to be very very tough i mean uh, it's very difficult to remember you should see only the output you are getting output now I mean uh, that is your uh, objective. The commands may be tough. Th that is not an issue. But uh, but uh, you see that uh, every programming, okay. The, the, before you do some operation, at the top you should write the command comment. I mean, uh, what is the purpose of this uh, uh, statements in the in the programming? So that uh, uh, your future successor uh, by reading that command, he will be able to understand. Okay, this line of coding will do this task. So that knowledge he has to. I mean, the person who are whoever is. Uh, uh, debugging your code they should be able to get so for uh, how to write a good pro good shell program again uh, you have the uh, uh, notes are there i mean basic uh, recommendations are there you can follow it up for example uh, every shell scripting mandatorily uh, like uh, it, it's a good practice it is not compulsory but every uh, uh, company programs you know, which we do at the professional level it will start like like this only for first it will start with the uh, hash exclamation hash see if you want to comment uh, some line in a shell script you can put a hash between uh, then that come that line will become comment so uh, hash uh, exclamation that is called a she bank s h e she bank so your shell script should uh, start like this only okay and then uh, in shell script uh, you can write the functions and uh, in the main program you can call those functions and okay and then uh, you can uh, along with the programming you can also uh, supply valuables at the command level so those command level uh, you can uh, capture and you can use it in the program. So these are all um, uh, very uh, normal methods which are available in the, the internet. 
if i if we take the those sessions no it will go for 4 to 5 hours so just i am giving you the dots so basing this uh, basic uh, i mean keep keeping uh, whatever uh, the my lecture as a basic points you can uh, drill down and uh, you can refer uh, everything is available in the internet okay i mean linux means shell scripting adopt commands awk and then uh, file permissions okay uh, so only these things that's all if you are, if you are uh, familiar uh, in this uh, uh, areas whatever i told you then i then you can tell that uh, you are eligible uh, to say that you are a linux programmer and uh, you can use uh, your knowledge in your uh, regular uh, projects and using shell scripting inside the shell scripting you can call any program you can call java you can call terraform you can call groovy script okay shell is a, is a, is a, is a universal one using shell script you can use you can run any program any environment you can you can deal with the aws uh, platform you can deal with the azure you can deal with the gcp okay uh, it's i mean uh, even uh, you can uh, there are certain process running in the kernel inside the where i mean it it may require you okay uh, so those uh, uh, facilities you can uh, available through uh, this thing uh, internet i mean sorry but through a shell scripting for example if i want to see what are the process are running okay so commands to the ps hyphen ef so it will uh, display the uh, the process id like uh, in uh, in uh, linux every activity uh, there will be an id okay so once that uh, activity is getting over uh, linux itself uh, will uh, terminate uh, that id so that id is called as a process id okay so if, if the process id is live this means that, that activity is uh, is on when you you can kill that uh, process using a kill statement so, so like like and then uh, if you want to see the disk space df hyphen h it shows you the your disk space and the file system there are various uh, file system we have that is ex2 ext4 so like that we have totally eight file systems okay you can uh, what are the file systems in linux again it is a big topic okay so these things uh, so unless until you practice uh, and uh, you know every day at least for one hour you have to uh, keep on referring this linux uh, uh, topics in the internet and you should have a uh, hands on experience then only it will be very easy otherwise uh, for a win windows programmer linux is, is a night will be a nightmare so even i myself no experience the same thing first of all i was a visual c++ programmer so when i started using uh, linux no like for uh, nearly for 8 years i struggled a lot so after uh, i jumped into devops then i understand the the i mean uh, the, the beauty and the sweet uh, sweet thing uh, which uh, linux has okay so it's very very easy i mean it has made my programming uh, uh, career uh, to a high, very high level okay in uh, windows i used to write uh, for same task i used to write 10 100 uh, lines so th those 100 lines i can uh, write it in, in only three lines in uh, linux and uh, both windows and os is going to do the same same activity so linux is such a powerful and uh, linux now uh, currently uh, linux is uh, ruling the world so it's my humble request that everyone should uh, learn the new topics whatever whatever i told you i mean just uh, learning itself is not required you have to go into the deep you have to try to you uh, know learn uh, very uh, critical uh, very complicated shell programs are there so uh, when you uh, get uh, that level of maturity so definitely you know like uh, you can handle all type of uh, uh, events in uh, shell script okay so hope uh, i understood uh, everyone uh, is uh, quite got clear knowledge uh, after my lecture okay lecture if anyone is having doubt please uh, uh, you can call me and or you can uh, ping me you can mail me i am uh, very much obliged to uh, clear your doubts okay sure nitya thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thanks for your time okay actually the session was 12 to 12 45 but uh, in your giving the lecture i i forgot myself and now the time is 1 40 it's your lunch time i am really sorry for uh, no like spoiling your uh, lunch time yeah right. thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.